The Athanasian Creed, also known as Pseudo-Athanasian Creed or Quikumque Vult, also Quikumque Vult, is a Christian statement of belief focused on Trinitarian doctrine and Christology. The Latin name of the creed, Quikumque Vult, is taken from the opening words, "...whosoever wishes." The creed has been used by Christian churches since the 6th century. It is the first creed in which the equality of the three persons of the Trinity is explicitly stated. It differs from the Nicene Constantinopolitan and Apostles' creeds in the inclusion of anathemas, or condemnations of those who disagree with the creed like the original Nicene Creed. Widely accepted among Western Christians, including the Roman Catholic Church and some Anglican churches, Lutheran churches it is considered part of Lutheran confessions in the Book of Concord, and ancient, liturgical churches generally. The Athanasian Creed has been used in public worship less and less frequently, but part of it can be found as an authorized affirmation of faith in the recent 2000 common worship liturgy of the church of england main volume page 145 it was designed to distinguish nicene christianity from the heresy of arianism liturgically this creed was recited at the sunday office of prime in the western church it is not in common use in the eastern church the creed has never gained acceptance in liturgy among eastern christians since it was considered as one of many unorthodox fabrications that contained the filioque clause today the athanasian creed is rarely used even in the western church when used one common practice is to use it once a year on trinity sunday topic <inaudible> origin topic a medieval account credited Athanasius of Alexandria, the famous defender of Nicene theology, as the author of the Creed. According to this account, Athanasius composed it during his exile in Rome and presented it to Pope Julius I as a witness to his orthodoxy. This traditional attribution of the Creed to Athanasius was first called into question in 1642 by Dutch Protestant theologian G. J. Voss. It has since been widely accepted by modern scholars that the Creed was not authored by Athanasius, that it was not originally called a Creed at all, nor was Athanasius' name originally attached to it. Athanasius' name seems to have become attached to the Creed as a sign of its strong declaration of Trinitarian faith. The reasoning for rejecting Athanasius as the author usually relies on a combination of the following The creed originally was most likely written in Latin, while Athanasius composed in Greek. Neither Athanasius nor his contemporaries ever mention the creed. It is not mentioned in any records of the ecumenical councils. It appears to address theological concerns that developed after Athanasius died including the filioque. It was most widely circulated among Western Christians, the use of the Creed in a sermon by Caesarius of Arles, as well as a theological resemblance to works by Vincent of Larens, point to Southern Gaul as its origin. The most likely time frame is in the late 5th or early 6th century AD, at least 100 years after Athanasius. The theology of the Creed is firmly rooted in the Augustinian tradition, using exact terminology of Augustine's on the Trinity published 415 AD. In the late 19th century, there was a great deal of speculation about who might have authored the Creed, with suggestions including Ambrose of Milan, Venantius Fortunatus, and Hilary of Poitiers, among others. The 1940 discovery of a lost work by Vincent of Larens, which bears a striking similarity to much of the language of the Athanasian Creed, have led many to conclude that the Creed originated either with Vincent or with his students. For example, in the authoritative modern monograph about the Creed, J. N. D. Kelly asserts that Vincent of Larens was not its author, but that it may have come from the same milieu, namely the area of Larens in southern Gaul. The oldest surviving manuscripts of the Athanasian Creed date from the late 8th century. Content <inaudible> 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 The Athanasian Creed is usually divided into two sections, lines 1–28 addressing the doctrine of the Trinity, and lines 29–44 addressing the doctrine of Christology. Enumerating the three persons of the Trinity i.e., Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the first section of the Creed ascribes the divine attributes to each individually. Thus, each person of the Trinity is described as uncreated increatus, limitless immensus, eternal aeternus, and omnipotent omnipotens, while ascribing the divine attributes and divinity to each person of the Trinity, thus avoiding subordinationism. The first half of the Athanasian Creed also stresses the unity of the three persons in the one Godhead, thus avoiding a theology of tritheism. 
Furthermore, although one God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are distinct from each other. For the Father is neither made nor begotten, the Son is not made but is begotten from the Father, the Holy Spirit is neither made nor begotten but proceeds from the Father. Western churches include, and the Son, filioque, a concept which Eastern and Oriental Orthodox reject. The text of the Athanasian Creed is as follows. The Christology of the second section is more detailed than that of the Nicene Creed, and reflects the teaching of the First Council of Ephesus 431 and the definition of the Council of Chalcedon 451. The Athanasian Creed uses the term substantia a Latin translation of the Nicene homoousios, same being, or consubstantial, not only with respect to the relation of the Son to the Father according to his divine nature, but also says the Son is substantia of his mother Mary according to his human nature. The Creed's wording thus excludes not only Sabellianism and Arianism, but the Christological heresies of Nestorianism and Eutychianism. A need for a clear confession against Arianism arose in Western Europe when the Ostrogoths and Visigoths, who had Arian beliefs, invaded at the beginning of the 5th century. The final section of this creed also moved beyond the Nicene and Apostles' creeds in making negative statements about the people's fate. They that have done good shall go into life everlasting, and they that have done evil into everlasting fire. This caused considerable debate in England in the mid-19th century, centered on the teaching of Frederick Denison Maurice. Uses. Topic. Composed of 44 rhythmic lines, the Athanasian Creed appears to have been intended as a liturgical document, that is, the original purpose of the Creed was to be spoken or sung as a part of worship. The Creed itself uses the language of public worship, speaking of the worship of God rather than the language of belief. Now this is the Catholic faith, we worship one God. In the Catholic Church in medieval times, this Creed was recited following the Sunday Sermon or at the Sunday Office of Prime. The creed was often set to music and used in the place of a psalm. Early Protestants inherited the late medieval devotion to the Athanasian Creed, and it was considered to be authoritative in many Protestant churches. The statements of Protestant belief confessional documents of various reformers commend the Athanasian Creed to their followers, including the Augsburg Confession, the Formula of Concord, the Second Helvetic Confession, the Belgic Confession, the Bohemian Confession and the Thirty-Nine Articles. A metric version titled Quicumqua Vault, with a musical setting, was published in the whole book of Psalmes printed by John Day in 1562. Among modern Lutheran and Reformed churches adherence to the Athanasian Creed is prescribed by the earlier confessional documents, but the Creed does not receive much attention outside of occasional use, especially on Trinity Sunday. In Reformed circles, it is included for example, in the Christian Reformed Churches of Australia's Book of Forms PUBL, 1991. However, it is rarely recited in public worship. In the successive books of common prayer of the Reformed Church of England, from 1549 to 1662, its recitation was provided for on 19 occasions each year, a practice which continued until the 19th century, when vigorous controversy regarding its statement about eternal damnation saw its use gradually decline. It remains one of the three creeds approved in the 39 Articles, and is printed in several current Anglican prayer books, e.g., a Prayer Book for Australia 1995. As with Roman Catholic practice, its use is now generally only on Trinity Sunday or its octave. The Episcopal Church based in the United States has never provided for its use in worship, but added it to its Book of Common Prayer for the first time in 1979, where it is included in small print in a reference section entitled Historical Documents of the Church. In Roman Catholic churches, it was traditionally set at prime on Sundays when the office was of the Sunday. The 1911 reforms reduced this to Sundays after Epiphany and Pentecost, and on Trinity Sunday, except when a commemoration of a double feast or a day within an octave occurred. The 1960 reforms further reduced its use to once a year, on Trinity Sunday. It has been effectively dropped from the Catholic liturgy since the Second Vatican Council. It is however maintained in the Forma Extraordinaria, per the Decree Summorum Pontificum, and also in the Rite of Exorcism, both in the Forma Ordinaria and the Forma Extraordinaria of the Roman Rite. 
In Lutheranism, the Athanasian Creed is, along with the Apostles and Nicene Creeds, one of the three ecumenical creeds placed at the beginning of the 1580 Book of Concord, the historic collection of authoritative doctrinal statements confessions of the Lutheran Church. It is still used in the liturgy on Trinity Sunday. A common visualization of the first half of the creed is the shield of the Trinity. Topic notes topic topic references topic Church of England 1563 39 articles archived from the original on the 29th of June 2011 retrieved the 8th of September 2013 Andrea Jakob Chemnitz Martin Selnecker Nikolaus Kytraeus David Musculus Andreas Corner Christoph 1577 Solid Declaration of the Formula of Concord retrieved the 8th of September 2013 Benta Friedrich the 13th of October 2008 Historical Introductions to the Symbolical Books of the Evangelical Lutheran Church TXT ebook retrieved the 8th of September 2013 De Bresse, Guido Junius Franciscus 1562 Belgic Confession retrieved the 8th of September 2013 Bullinger Heinrich 1564 Second Helvetic Confession retrieved the 8th of September 2013 Chazelle Celia 1997 Archbishops Ebo and Hinkmar of Reims and the Utrecht Psalter Speculum 72 4 p 1056 6, JSTOR 2865958 Faulkner, John July 1910, The First Great Christian Creed, The American Journal of Theology, Chicago, The University of Chicago Press, 14 426-427, doi, 10.1086-478939, JSTOR 3154994 Hatchet, Marion J. 1980, Commentary on the American Prayer Book, New York, Harper and Row, p. 584, ISBN 0-8164-0206-X Mahajan, Deepti, Sampaolo, Marco 2012. Athanasian Creed. Encyclopædia Britannica, Encyclopædia Britannica Jackson, Samuel 1966. Athanasian Creed. The New Schaff Herzog Encyclopedia of Religion, Grand Rapids, Baker Book House, OCLC 9097284 Kantarovich, Ernst 1957, The King's Two Bodies, Princeton, Princeton University Press, p. 17, ISBN 0691017042 Kelly, John 1964, The Athanasian Creed, New York, Harper and Row, OCLC 6914156 Melanchthon, Philip, ed., 1530, The Augsburg Confession, retrieved 8 September 2013 Morin, Germain 1911, L'origine du symbole d'Athanase the Origin of the Symbol of Athanasius PDF, The Journal of Theological Studies in French, Oxford, Oxford University Press, 12 2, 337, doi, 10.1093, JTS, OS 12.3.337, retrieved 8 September 2013 Norris, Frederick 1997, Athanasian Creed in Ferguson, Everett, Encyclopedia of Early Christianity, 2nd ed., New York, Garland, ISBN 0824057457. O'Carroll, Michael, 1987. Athanasian Creed. Trinitas, Collegeville, Liturgical Press, ISBN 0814655955. Fatiker, Philip, 1990, Commentary on the Lutheran Book of Worship, Augsburg Fortress, ISBN 0800603923. Richardson, Herbert, Hopkins, Jasper, October 1967. On the Athanasian Creed. The Harvard Theological Review, 64, 483 4884, doi, 10.1017, SO 0178160000393, JSTOR 1509257. Schaff, Philip, 1877A, The Creeds of Christendom, 1, New York, Harper Brothers, OCLC 2589524. Retrieved 8 September 2013 Schaff, Philip 1877b, The Creeds of Christendom, 2, New York, Harper Brothers, OCLC 2589524, Retrieved 8 September 2013 Schaff, Philip 1981, History of the Christian Church, 3, 5th Revised ed., Grand Rapids, W.M. 
B. Eerdmans, ISBN 0802880495, retrieved 8 September 2013.